uh, many athletes tap out with their abilities when they transition to the next level, mm-hmm. right? Um, you know it. You see your high school All-American who really struggles in college. You see the person who does great in college who's nowhere to be found in the pros. You've managed to excel at every level, right? Um, how have you managed to excel at every level and set yourself up for a legendary career at the highest level in your sport? My mom instilled in me early on this spirit of let your yay be yay and your nay be nay. Let your yes be yes and your no be no. Anything else is considered evil. <laughs> like imagine you, you translating that ideology into a, a child. <laughs> it's like, yo, if you, you know what I mean, you all fiddling, like, ah, maybe do this, and I may. Like it's a very intentional, direct energy that's coming from me at a youth. And that ability to avoid peer pressure um, when peer pressure arises, I think has allowed me to um, do what I knew what was right. Whether it was those extra you know, sprints on the field, um, and I was a workout man. I used to call me workhorse. I was a man child. <laughs> but I, I, I love this, um, this warrior-like spirit, this asafo, as we would say in tree, right? That, that, that I knew that I couldn't allow someone else to do it for me. Um, there's a, a proverb in the Santi tree. Um, I may be able to quote it. It's um, Obinom Aduro Ma Yarifo. And it means someone else cannot drink the medicine for the patient. And that proverb really embodies kind of my mindset coming out from high school, from college, and now in the league, is that I have to drink my own medicine if I'm the one that is in need of saving or, or I'm in need of this resurrection, this um, kind of whatever is inside of me must come out or if it stays in, it would destroy me. You understand? So what is inside of me, if it does not come out, then that which is inside of me will destroy me because its whole mission and its duty, as we would say in the Santi tree, in Krabia, the mission to which you are called on this earth to do Right, the uh, obrabo, that very mission is for you. And if you do not do it, then you're disrespecting your creator. So that yay, yay, that nay, nay, uh, when it came time, I, you know, you can ask any one of my friends, I do not have a problem with telling them no. I do not have a problem with uh, saying, you know, I'm good. And even if I do say, if I do go out, right, that's where integrity kicks in. Integrity is not just doing everything right every time, right? I, I fall short. But integrity is the responsibility of a man to make a decision, but to also know that you are accountable for all of the repercussions. Accountability. Right? You're accountable for it. You know, oftentimes we spiritual folks, we, uh, you know, we, we read, you know, what you sow, you will reap. And then we sow and then we pray to God, take away the reap, take away the reap. Hey! As my, uh, my Nigerian said, Jesus, you know, it, it's, it's a energy that integrity allows you to be dutiful and responsible for all your decisions. So that's very much what I believe and what I know has helped me in my journey, whether it's high school, whether it's college, and whether it's the league, because I'm responsible for my actions. Um, and I'm okay with those actions. So if I choose to go out here, best believe that I know that, hey, I'm going to have to do this while I'm doing this. or why, like, I'm accountable. If something happens, that's on me. Right? I'm not trying to blame anybody. I knew 100% of what the possibilities and what the risks were. And that type of accountability allows you to catch up with some of those people who are like, trying to blame themselves and blame somebody else and blame X, Y, and Z. While they're doing that, I'm like, yes, that was on me. Now here's the correction. What was the biggest transition from college to the NFL? The biggest transition for me was the the biggest transition for me was time management. And I say this as, as, as 
genuine as possible. Time management coming from a public school in a 757, now we got a good system now, but time management come, coming from a place where you're the star player and um, you know, the teachers don't give you as much you know, harassment and you know, everybody knows you and you know, your mom, you know, he committed Notre Dame. So it's a little less you know, time management moving from college, excuse me, high school to college was hectic because now you're like this, boop, 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 right? It's different from being intentional with your decisions, having really nothing to really decide on and kind of like whenever guys go out, nah, I'm good, bro. Versus like, you gotta be here, you gotta be here, you gotta be here, you gotta be here at this time and trying to do that like this on a consistent basis. So you, you know, get to college and 5 a.m., boom. After that, class, 7.30. After that, boom, next class, 9.30. Make sure you eat, because now you got to gain weight. I'm coming, I'm coming into college at like 189, at linebacker, Rover. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Um, you know what I mean? So now you got to eat about five times a day, maybe six, right? Um, boom, get back to workouts, you know, noon. Then go see the, you know, the academic advisor. Then go see the athletic advisor. Right, so you got all of these different things in college. That was the big time management thing for me, and and it's almost on the opposite spectrum when you get to the league. You got a bunch of time now, so you go from being boom, 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 two hour workouts, hour and a half workouts, to thirty minute workouts, forty five minute workouts. Uh, you know, meeting times, but now you got an NFL PA, you got an NFL uh, Players Association. So they hold you long, you know, they, they don't be messing with that. They, you know, that, that mess with their money. Anything they mess with their money, you know. So time management transitioning back to kind of like, not a high school energy, um, because of course this is more accountability even now because one, finances is in the picture. This is all you have, right? Um, but it's, it's, it's not a dangerous position, but a lot of guys run across issues with it because they set all their jewels inside of football. And when you take football away, most of the guys get hurt. Most of the guys um, get arrested and car crashes on the off season because football is being taken away from them. That boom, 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 boom. That boom, 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 taken away now. <laughs> now you got all this time and a lot of guys, they just you know, do whatever with it. But um, it's definitely time management, I would say. I'm still working on today. Uh, close to fancy, I promise I'm gonna be better this year. Um, <laughs> but no, nah, time management, I would say for sure, is the biggest transition uh, for me from high school to college to now.